Hey everybody, Thursday morning. Glad that you've joined us for an update. Got uh, Keenan with me this morning. And by the way, it's a, it's a day of celebration. Keenan, Greek scholar, 87% on his final. So uh, great work. So that's exciting news. Also, just a quick announcement for the college students. We'll be having a uh, an online Zoom meeting uh, tonight at 7 o'clock. We're going to do a little more family feud and a little bit of Bible study. So uh, join us tonight at 7 o'clock. We'll give you an invite to that. So email us if you'd like to be a part of that. Okay? What we really want to do this morning is give you a virtual walkthrough of what it's going to look like this Sunday morning as we gather together again for our family reunion. Hope you're going to join us. Just want you to know that ministry, the service will be online, but we'd love to have you join us physically to be with us if, you're, if you'd like to do that. Uh, if you have underlying conditions, you're in that group of people, we're encouraging you to stay home, don't want you to be here with us. Uh, you're, if you're in that danger group, uh, if you wake up with a fever and you feel like you're sick, just go ahead and stay home. Or if you're just not ready yet, we understand that the service will be online, you stay home and wait for the time that's right for you. But we're gonna have two services this Sunday at uh, 9 o'clock and 1045 and we're going to open the doors uh, 15 minutes uh, before the service. Everything will be sanitized waiting for you to come and so 15 minutes before the service we're going to invite you in and uh, uh, we're going to do that and expect you just kind of to walk right to where you're going okay not a lot of lingering around but uh, here's what's going to happen at uh, at 9 o'clock we'll come over all the doors will be open just like this and uh, you'll be able to join us through here. All the doors will remain open as you come in. We're we'll asking you. Yep, we'll greet you. And uh, remind you that uh, we want to keep that six uh, foot distancing number so that we're not too close together. And we're going to ask you to wear mask as you come in, okay, until we get into the service area where we're going to be worshiping together and we're social distance in there. Uh, just keep your mask on. So maybe don't wear deodorant on Sunday. That might make it easier to stay away from people. <laughs> okay. That, that might work. Uh, so as you come into the lobby area, you're going to see that we've kind of emptied out everything so that you don't have uh, places to set stuff uh, where we're going to have to clean. And when you get to this point, you're going to want to make a decision whether you're heading right to the worship center or whether you're going to go down the hallway here. We'll have a nursery for both services at 9 o'clock and 1045. And then we'll have the kids meeting just at the second hour at 1045 only. So if you're bringing the kids, want you to come at the second hour. We're only going to have that available at 1045. The hallway down here will be closed, as you can see. And so uh, as you walk through this area, we have uh, our sanitizers here. We're encouraging you to just go and wash your hands as you get ready to come into the worship center. Also, we'll let you know that out here, the uh, patio is going to be open. And uh, we'll have uh, audio and sound and visual out there for you to watch the service if you prefer to do that. Uh, also be a little bit of an overflow if we get more people than we feel we can hold. We're going to be working on that limited seating of about 25% capacity, which means we're going to hold about 85 uh, people in the service, uh, specifically 85.5. But yeah, don't uh, try not to be that half a person. <laughs> okay, so uh, so 25% capacity this Sunday. So you can either head out to the patio, or most likely you're going to be heading into the worship center uh, with us. As you get back into the worship center here, uh, you're going to see that again we've uh, kind of taken everything out. There's not much in here. When you get to this point. We want you to know that there's only going to be seating on the aisles. So you want to pick which aisle you're going to go down because that's kind of where you're going to sit. We're trying to keep that social distancing in place. So find an aisle where you want to go. We're going to go down the center aisle. And as we go down the center aisle, that means we'll have two options of where we want to sit on either side in terms of an aisle seat. And uh, it'll look a little bit uh, like this when you come in. Uh, you'll see right here that uh, we have a uh, blue tape on the uh, pews and where there's blue tape that's where we want you to sit so this would be an aisle seat you could sit right here uh, inviting that whoever you come in with your whole family the people that you're coming in with or if you're by yourself you're going to just sit in an aisle seat uh, if you came in uh, of course crosswise uh, distancing there'll be an aisle seat there if you went down the side aisles the same thing would be true there you want to look for the the blue tape and that's where you know where to sit so after we get all of the aisle seats uh, seated 
if we still have more people that are coming in, the ushers will help you find uh, an aisle like this where there's no tape and you'll be able to kind of walk to the middle where your distance from the person on the other side and your distance from the people in front of you and behind you. But we want you to start by getting that uh, prime aisle seat uh, when you come in. And uh, of course, here's our worship center waiting for you. It's been empty for these last, I don't know, I guess nine weeks now. It's been too empty. <laughs> so we're looking forward to having you join us. But again, if you don't join us, uh, we've been doing a lot of work for our online service yeah, as well. Back here, you can see that we have a prime opportunity for you to watch online in HD and with great audio quality. So uh, you won't have to leave the comfort of your recliner or get out of your pajamas. So uh, that option will be available to you as well. So when we finish the service after we're done celebrating and worshiping uh, together, oh, and I should mention as you come in and you're distanced and you're seating, we're going to be singing and celebrating together. Uh, just let you know that when you get in the place where you're seated, uh, you'll have the opportunity to take your mask off if you like. Okay, you'll be distanced from everybody. We'll be singing together, um, but you'll have the opportunity to keep your mask off. If you if you want to keep it on. Um, you can do that as well. So we're going to be distanced and we're going to be singing together so you do what's comfortable for you and we're going to give people freedom. If you get uncomfortable with your distancing from someone, uh, by all means, move to a spot where you feel a little more comfortable. If we have, uh, if we're more crowded, uh, we'll use uh, in the back here in our narthex area, our connect area in the back, uh, we'll have some overflow available in this, in this area back here. Uh, we've taken everything out so we'll be able to space some chairs back here we'll have the sound so you can be a part of the service but it'll also give you the opportunity um, to be spaced so if you're a little uncomfortable there you can come here or out onto the patio we want you to be comfortable uh, as we leave we're going to do it kind of if, as if we were at a wedding uh, we'll exit the back rows one at a time and as people exit out of the worship center the next row will go and so we'll just do that until we get to all the people in the front to try to keep our spacing as we go we'll ask you to put your mask back on as you exit so that you can be careful as we might be coming into a little closer proximity with one another and the last thing Sunday as we leave, we'll have in the back our offering baskets. And so uh, we'll, we'll be uh, asking God's blessing on our offering, but we won't be passing any baskets. As you leave, you have the opportunity to put your offering in the basket. And of course, if you're not here and you're online. Then you'll still have the opportunity to give online through our website or through our app. Both options are still available and still working quite well. Yeah, so thank you again for your faithful uh, giving um, online. We're just really blessed by your faithfulness to give. So we're looking forward to seeing everybody uh, this Sunday. It's going to be a great day worshiping together, and I hope that you'll join us. Uh, we got some exciting things planned uh, next week uh, in terms of what we want to do ministry-wise, and of course we'll be talking to you about those in our Monday update. But we're looking forward to seeing you face-to-face -face and greeting you. Uh, just asking that as we've kind of laid out these limitations and guidelines that you would be faithful to follow those because we want to try to be faithful to do this in a safe and a way that honors the Lord and uh, we're going to have a great time celebrating. So I look forward to seeing you on Sunday or seeing you online. God bless you guys.